Hey, wake up. Uh, what the heck? It's not time for my December video yet. Reddit has spoken. The night from your last video was too dull. <sighs> Fine, I'll fix it. You know, I built an over-engineered robot with the sole purpose of automatically removing crust from your sandwiches. I designed it around a completely custom 4-axis control board. I even wrote a code to not only decrust, but also precisely chop and dice just about anything. Heck, I even added a speaker. Never chopped. This thing was completely overkill. But apparently, the standards for cutting crust are really high, because all anybody could talk about was the dull knife. Please sharpen your knife. Made all this effort. Too bad it can't cut knife for ruined squat. the video. Anybody else notice that it doesn't Looks really like work? Looks like it for you all. Literally unwatchable. And you know what? They're kind of right. So, let's tally up our problems and, and get to fixing them. One, the knife is too heckin' dull. Easy fix. I found this old knife in my drawer that looks like it should be perfect. It's got a much straighter and sharper blade. But just to be sure, I spent a good hour sharpening and honing the blade. Still think my knife is dull? Mm, nah. Two, the knife doesn't rock, so it's not gonna cut through. Well, a slightly more difficult fix. This required rethinking how I mounted the knife. Rather than just rigidly fixing it to the cart, I instead mounted it on a pivot. The weight of the knife ensures that the hilt side will always contact first, then the downward force of the stage will rock the contact point forwards to the tip. Done, easy. Uh, kinda. I actually wasn't able to drill through the hardened steel. Oops. So I just epoxied some pegs on, yeah, we'll see how it works. Three, the food moves all over while cutting. Okay, yep, this one is a problem too. Somebody suggested that I make a hand and have it slap the food down to hold it in place, but nah, that's way too complicated. So I kept it simple. I added this little spring-loaded gripper plate which travels with the knife. Every time the knife goes down for a cut, the gripper will come down first, grab the food, hold on, knife makes the cut, chop chop, no roll, easy peasy done. Happy now, Reddit? Huh? Do you really want another overly sarcastic YouTuber? No, you don't. But keep it up, you're gonna get one. So, upgrades in hand. Wait, no, what are you doing with those? Put them back on the machine. Ugh, thank you. So, let's test it. First things first, an I told you so sandwich. I also added a rating feedback system to ensure I'm achieving optimal performance at all times. Were you satisfied with the cut? Please score from zero to 10. As long as you provide a valid response, you can remove your sandwich, no worries. But provide a dishonest rating and the bot will attack the first thing it sees. Have fun getting your sandwich now. <laughs> Cut so well, wow. Are you impressed? Oh boy, all right, what can I get next? Hmm, how about a horizontal sandwich? Chop, chop, chop. Yep, it, it cuts that too. Chopped. Oh wow, looks so good. Ah. Oh boy, next up, a Mexican sandwich. And you know, personally, I prefer mine diced. Pretty sick, huh? So good at cutting. Okay, I think I made my point, so let's get on to the new mode I added. Just for you, Reddit. I present to you the safety keyboard. Initializing safety mode. How is it safe? Well, it discourages Redditors from commenting on my posts. And how does it do this? Well, as we know, nearly all Redditors are self-absorbed and have a Reddit tattoo on their hand so others know they're Redditors. So I'm able to use the camera to scan the scene constantly. If normal people use the keyboard, the bot does nothing. However, if the template match from OpenCV picks up a Reddit logo, well then, gentle discouragement is administered. Thank you for using the safety bar. Would you like me to call emergency services? No, I'm okay. Okay, calling 911. Don't worry, patent pending and global distribution is starting this year. So, what's the verdict? Still think the knife is dull? Well, in case you had any remaining doubts, please enjoy this montage. Thank you everybody for watching, and a special thanks to Reddit for ruining my week and forcing me to defend my honor, and rapidly upload a new video. If you enjoyed, you better subscribe! If you didn't, I don't know why you're still watching at this point, so you should probably subscribe anyway. Also, since Reddit has made me waste even more food now, I've decided I'll donate this video's entire first month of revenue to the Greater Boston Area Food Bank. 
Might as well do something beneficial from this stupid interruption. And of course, a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters. Alright, now, for real, no more videos till next month. See you then, bye.